Seven mark simultaneous equation with logs and exponentials. Save this video as part of your revision for that, innit? So like always, the way we solve this stuff is we rearrange for either x or y, substitute it into the other equation. Now I think the second equation is the easiest one to rearrange for, y. So y is two plus ln x plus quattro. I'm gonna take that y and sub it into there. So we get e to the power of y, which is two plus ln x plus four, plus five minus nine x is zero. Now here, e and ln don't cancel because of this plus two. So we're gonna split this up by using our power rule. This will become e squared times e to the power of ln x plus four. A plus in the power means multiplication. Plus five minus nine x is zero. E and ln cancel now, they are inverse functions. So we have e squared lots of this. Yeah, we're gonna rearrange for x, so we need to expand the bracket. So we get e squared x plus 4e squared plus 5 minus 9x is 0. Now this is, we're going to rearrange for x. Now you can see that they're on the same side, right? So you could factorize out x and then these two can go to the other side. But I don't like that because these two on the other side will become negative, right? So these two I'm actually going to take to the other side. So I get 4e squared plus 5 is 9x yeah, on the other side and then minus e squared x. Then I'm going to factorize out x, 9 minus e squared. Then divide by the bracket. So you get 4e squared plus 5 over 9 minus e squared. Now, it wanted to solve. The question did actually say to put your answer as an appropriate degree of accuracy. Um, I mean, my calculator's over there. I'm not typing all that. So y is 2 plus ln of x, which is this, over 9 minus e squared plus 4. And as your homework, guys, you can type that in if you can be bothered. I'm happy with that solution. Uh, so yeah, if you want more maths content, head to Neil Does Maths YouTube and save this video as part of your vision for logs and exponentials, innit? Nice.